the ability to use chats and stuff in CC, it comes up a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I reference League perhaps too much just because I played that for what? like 10 years. I don't oh, know if no. you've played League of Legends, oh, no. but... Mm, that's kind of... Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. But... Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first official episode of Crystal Coffee Time. I am Amasi Cairo, your resident BVP patter and host of today's show, talking about crystalline conflict. The interview is broken up into three separate videos as we discuss different topics in each one. So stay tuned by hitting that subscribe and ringing that bell icon. And if you want to see more of these lovely, lovely videos in the future, please hit that like button so I know that you like this type of content. Lastly, these interviews are more informal as if you the viewer are eavesdropping on a conversation between myself and the guest at your local coffee shop. Now I am not the most equipped to talk about crystalline conflict myself so with us we have our guest Taro. So let's get this show started. So how do I pronounce your name just to make sure I don't butcher it? The uh the the second half is that what you mean? Yeah what's your name? I just have you so it's it's Taro right? You can just say Taro you know. Okay. <laughs> So Tara, but uh, more formality. Uh, it's so it's from Final Fantasy Tactics. This is the main character's last mm -hmm. name. Yeah. Um, and it was inspired by Beowulf. So it's Beowulf. So it's Tarot Be Wait Beowulf. Be Be yeah, Beowulf. But you know, write that down. It's kind of there. like mm -hmm. how I said it for the longest time was Beowulf myself, because in the original version that came out in like ninety or whenever the Final Fantasy Tactics is from. Uh, yeah. In that original version, there's one time it's voiced, and they say Bjolf in the English like port of it. But I think okay. they were also dumb and didn't know what it was supposed to be and just kind of said something. Because uh, they made a remake of it way later that had more cutscenes and voice uh, voiceover and stuff. And okay, they okay. say it Bjolf every time in that. Okay, so I think for, for my comfort... <laughs> I'll just end up just saying Taro, Taro is fine. Yes. We were talking earlier, just before the recording, uh, just discussing like different types of like between um, CC and Frontlines. How would you describe like how to actually play uh, CC? Yes. Kind of depends where you're at, but like the main thing, a lot of people get wrong and maybe it's because it's like coming from that FL uh, Frontlines perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, is like there are a lot of people who or it's from like people who spend a lot of time doing raiding and maybe don't have as much experience in other pvp games or something but there's a lot of people who come in and just try and like i call it pv parsing but just PV parsing. Throw out as much damage as they can uh you know oh, worry about uptime they're always doing something whenever their big burst is ready they throw it out on cooldown like they want to max what they're doing but yeah. it's not really the way to play CC. CC is like all about holding your burst and then hitting the same person together with your team and making okay. them go boom. Okay, that part I get. I feel like in front lines we do <laughs> we, we do a lot of PV parsing at times. Well, it kind of depends on the team fight because we do have um, sync burst as well, and it's generally revolving around like either um, uh, for us this is a Dark Knight. But it could be like any type of like CC locked leg, for example, it could be like a Reaper or it could be like a Summoner, probably not a Summoner, but it does have potential, but like a Reaper, anything that binds or stuns people is generally what we would combo into. So that's like our version of just like, uh, yeah, 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 that's basically like our, our clone to it. We're, you know, we don't exactly PVE. I mean, some people, we just like, some people like to run away from nodes. I am, I am one of those. <laughs> I'm one of those. <laughs> It's a very bad thing to say. <laughs> it's fine. But it's yeah. like, um, I don't know. The main difference is, is really just like, hmm, you've got less teammates and everyone is more focused on the same place. Like, yeah, I think you have to play and make decisions a bit faster in CC where like in front lines, you might have more impactful decisions or bigger decisions to make in some ways, but yeah. you have a bit more time to make them. It's kind of the I same agree. as like League of Legends. Like mm -hmm. I noticed also uh, mm -hmm. in CC, you guys also have a quick chat like function, right? So at some extent, yeah. like, and so for front lines, we have commanders, but they have to make their own macros. So the fact that like CC has 
those commands already like pre-built into it kind of makes it a little more like streamlined and, and convenient to that respect, right? Kind of, but they're also a little bit restrictive. There's a lot of people who want to have the ability to use chats and stuff in CC. It comes up a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I reference League perhaps too much just because I played that for like 10 years. I don't oh, know no. if I played League of Legends. Oh, no. but... mm, that's kind of... Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, man. But what I was going to say is like, same way that in front lines you can kind of make use of a chat, it's... And also, same thing I was saying about having longer to make the decisions and more downtime while you're like moving to think and make those decisions. That's true. You have the, the downtime map is bigger. to type out a plan to somebody. In CC, if you're spending the time to type out your plan, you just wasted like seven GCD window. That's like, true. Because the game itself is like only like at limit five minutes unless there's a draw or like a, a point contest. Yeah, right. and like the 20. only time there's nothing you should be doing is if you're dead, <laughs> and so. <laughs> it's like I don't know. People want there to be open chat, and maybe they could make like cool macros and stuff to mm-hmm. convey but, ideas faster. But didn't they used to? Uh, so this is like completely out of CC. But have you been playing Final Fantasy for a long time? No. Oh, okay, because I remember one of my friends mentioning how they used to have um, in Feast. I think early Feast they had like open chat, but they took it out. I don't remember correctly. Yeah, but I've it talked made... to TJ mm-hmm. about that as well and i think they had open chat for a bit everyone was just really toxic and then they took it away that's probably i mean if you if you had open chat in league right you have to think like that you do (laughs) yeah you do Uh, how do some chats end up becoming if you have a bad teammate Oh, they very, very quickly, uh, from season one to now, uh, become nobody playing the game and everybody sitting there typing about how everyone else is bad. So, yeah, I mean, I, I like it's so smart create for creativity, but I'm being honest. Sometimes in front lines, we have the the random person who will just keep typing, <laughs> yeah. and then we go at the end of the game, we see their score, and they have like sub 100k damage, and they have like six deaths, typing and just like yes, yep. you're playing the video game. <laughs> yeah. So like macros are convenient at the same time. So I'm I'm yeah. I'm, I'm kind of happy that like even though it would be great to some aspects, I feel like there's more downsides to have free chat in uh, NCC. Yeah, it's like the main things that would be really nice to have for like open chat would be like there's some concepts that okay. So like it, it, <laughs> mm-hmm. one of the things that leads to a lot of the toxicity that does exist in ranked CC and some of the frustrations is just like uh, I've used it as an example a few times now, but like week two of this season, you have me and Sir both queuing trying to push for rank one. Yeah, every game was me and Sir on opposite teams, and then eight uh, names I've never seen before. This is their first season playing, and it's like, okay, uh, I know, I know this happens. Okay, so I know CC has two modes: it has casual and it has rank. Are you talking about casual or rank? I'm talking about rank. the thing is like, you can as long as you just push your buttons, real, you can not understand any of the advanced concepts of CC and just like be decent at pushing your buttons in a meaningful order. And play enough games, and you'll get to plat or diamond. And if you get to like plat or diamond, then you're playing with people who are like long time players who want to be scary pushing they're, for top. They're terrifying, bro. I, I remember, <laughs> I, I remember uh, when I first started playing CC in season one, I was like, oh, I know everybody here. I come back in like season eight, season nine, I'm just like, I don't even know half the cast anymore. <laughs> I mean, I look at the very yeah. top, like it's all the same names at, at the very top of the ladder, but everyone in between is just like, who are you? How do you play? Yeah. How do you move? And I can't like strategize to them because like, I don't know who they are to some respect. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, so you're running into things where like, there are times where you should not push the crystal. That's oh? impossible to convey to people in the moment. There's no like, there's like, no wh- don't push the crystal button like, like, what, a, like what, you know, what example love the spam push the crystal push the crystal nice job what example would you have for like when not to push push the crystal because I, so, I i don't know this situation there are a few times one would be like uh, if it's an overtime uh you have the advantage and uh you just wipe the enemy team mm-hmm. please do not touch the crystal <laughs> oh because it pushes uh, it into the closer to their base right makes it closer to their side so they can get to it like if you leave it where it's at, they might just literally not be able to reach it and not trigger over time. 
There's so many games where they physically couldn't have gotten there in time, but people walk the crystal another 40% towards their base and they get to touch it. And it's like, oh, all right, now we get to play another five minutes and maybe throw the game. Let's go. That's, that's actually clever. These are big brain strats. I never thought about that. I, could <laughs> I do uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I was just going to say, another example would be like just thinking about where you want to hold it and where you want to fight with what resources you have. Like sometimes, say, Palestra, uh, at the mm -hmm. bottom of the speed lane uh, behind the enemy's checkpoint, yeah. that is the area on the map that your team can get to from spawn the fastest and their team takes the longest to get to. Yeah. So that's where you want to take. Uh, like long fights like if you're in overtime you want to hold it there because that's, that's where speedway is yeah it just gives you the respawn advantage you're going to get there a lot faster and you have the speed lane to like cast on and move up and down to get resets and oh. they're just stuck yeah okay but, okay that makes sense yeah but it's like you can't tell people it's impossible to communicate to people like wait here or don't don't push up yeah like far. fight at this spot hold it here <laughs> like, like everybody's I feel like just there has to be like a like this is why i feel like as a i mean i would i would not make videos on cc just yet because i have low experience but i feel like you have to have established terms before you enter the the game <laughs> yeah but the thing is, you have everyone has to know these established terms before you enter the game. So if you're, say, a new player that came, that came out of bronze and you climbed to diamond, lucky person, but um, you don't know any of the terms. So you would just be so confused by why are there waymarks here? Why is there like, is this a raid boss or like what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, well, and it's like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's very difficult. And like, that's that's part of where the if we had open chat. Then you could mm -hmm. like make macros and spam like hold in front of speed lane or something like that. Yeah, like that's something uh, we have in 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 uh in front lines where we have like follow way marks. If you're a commander, you can have like a way mark just following you behind the entire time while you're going for a flank, right? Because especially modes like Seal Rock, where basically at any point you can be you can get flanked or, or get flanked if the enemy commander is smart enough to reposition you. It can basically just be a giant flanking game. But you can't do that without the waymark commands or like the custom like customization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it would be interesting to see them open up like open chat, whatever, and what would come of it. But I think it would mostly be toxic and new. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. And, uh, it's like it would be nice to be able to in the moment convey like a game plan to people. But uh, just I don't think it's realistic, unfortunately. No, it's good. It's kind but, of but yeah, no, that's honestly, I didn't know that for a quick chat, but um, what was the one thing that I remember? I know that people still can be toxic with like, what's it called? Uh, like the thank you, the thank you stuff. Oh my God. The yeah, they'll throw out and ignore Mark if they think you made a mistake or they just don't like playing with you and they don't like you. They'll, uh, uh, you know, the funniest one I've seen, which I've only seen once was in the gates before the game started they put down the b a d uh like way marks for oh, bad like, at the gate and then put one on the person they didn't like and kept moving it with them that's, <laughs> wait that's a, I like okay like i'm i don't want to diss toxicity or like be like that's that's actually clever i i never <laughs> thought of that <laughs> yeah i was laughing when i saw it. they just kept spamming the one on top of the person while they moved around <laughs> It's not good, not a good look, but not it was funny point. and it made me laugh in the moment. I'll be honest. That's sad. No doubt, it kept me. Oh god, <laughs> bro. So, but yeah, there's that, and then there's all the people who spam. Like the thing is, though, to be honest, mm -hmm. and not to be the toxic one, but like it's usually the people who are the worst in the lobby that are the ones spamming. Like, nice job, nice job, good match, good match. Push the crystal, yeah. push the crystal, push the. Crystal. I mean, like, I feel like uh, it's also from like the frustration of being unable to communicate exactly the idea you want, right? Because everyone, to some respect, when they play CC, there's there it's still a five v five, and games like Overwatch, who also have five v five, where each job or each role has their own like specific thing. Like even though Gunbreaker and Paladin Warrior, as well as Arctan, can be DPS jobs, they have a lot of defensive utility in their kit, so. The fact that they can still be overextended, they probably have a plan in their head, but they can't communicate to their like healers or their DPS as effectively as them saying attacking this target. 
right? That's because that, that's all they can say. Kind of, right? Do you watch um, like LP tournament gameplay or stuff or I have some of the higher level things? I, like... I have seen a couple, but aren't LP tournaments generally in comms when we do it? Yes, yeah, they're with comms, but you can do it. Uh, like even in um, every now and then we get pops on Primal where it's like uh, nobody else was in queue besides like two people who are permanently in queue on Primal, but like we just get eight players who are good and decide that we want to play together if we go queue there or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and to even in those, like, you don't need comms. Like, if people see something, they'll go for it. But, like, uh, what I was going to say is sometimes the correct play is just totally give up the crystal and run down somebody in the back line, get that kill, and then go back to the crystal. Because and then you can push with the five. Is it because they're doing, they're doing too much damage? Like, they're such a strong player? Well, like, true? um, Say, for example, they ha- enemy team has a Sage. That Sage is about to have LB. Uh, it's going to be a massive problem for you to push around a corner mm-hmm. if they get that Sage LB out. Because they would be so solid push to fight, up and right? kill them, and then you go back to the point. And you have to push with a 5v4 and not have to deal with that Sage gauge for a second. Yeah. Is that, that because uh, they'd be selling the fight for a lot longer bit and giving your team like a lot of dot tick, right? So yeah. Like priority. Sage is like impossible to fight into. You, The answer to Sage gauge is like kill the Sage or walk away and walk wait away. it out. I feel like that would also work the same way is if you know your enemy team has like alt combos and you just break a part of the kill chain. So like either if it's a dancer dragoon combo, you'd kill the dancer or dragoon so that now if they alt, one of them would be out of time. So now they have to save that for the next fight. That's kind of thing. Yeah, like keeping them staggered is really, really good. Even when you see like a, it's not as much of a thing in solo queue but like in lp if you know enemy team has dance dragoon they're gonna look for that kind of thing okay uh, so even just killing one of them before they get their lb so that the lbs aren't in sync with one another is really good like, so the way that i'm hearing it right now is like because you're term wise solo queue is for like ranked and like casual and yes then, and then yeah. lp is like when you do the tournaments right yeah light party okay uh, okay dumb, i'm just like so play, yeah. like solo queue i'm just like isn't all cc technically speaking on ladder solo queue so <laughs> just, <laughs> like, lp okay. is uh the term everyone uses but it's uh light party and it's just uh, from back in feasts because uh, you're a light party before people whatever but okay okay um yeah, it's it's team play, like coordinated with comms and whatnot mm-hmm. for tournaments. I mean, didn't he like? But, is it is it really light party? Because light party is like four people, so then you have like, or is it? Oh, wait, um, hold on. Yeah, I, I mean, it wasn't feast because feast was four v four, but now it's five v five, so it doesn't really make sense. But <laughs> so it's it's just a slightly larger party, but not yeah, that, but not full party. Okay. I don't know. Maybe someday <laughs> they'll. Maybe someday people will call it something other than LP, <laughs> but. <laughs> I know. I feel like it rolls off the tongue a lot easier, bro. See, like CC party. What? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but no. Nobody wants to call it TP. That'd be silly. That. What is? What's TP? Team party? <laughs> I was saying like team play, but. <laughs> oh, okay. no, no TP. Yeah. Toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, know. I mean, we just call it LP, but it's like pulled from mm-hmm. feast, and then it also is like an FF specific term because light party. Uh, it's dumb. But yeah, that's what we go with. So, in terms of job meta.